Jaden versus Dimitri. Dimitri is a copycat duelist. What some might call a net decker. Basically, he takes somebody else's deck and strategy and uses it as his own. This isn't necessarily a problem though, if you use what somebody else has created to evolve and develop it into something new. Something that specifically synergizes with the way that you play. However, Dimitri does not do this. Worse still, he has stolen the legendary deck used by Yugi Moto. He has memorized his plays and strategies and even taken on the characteristics of Yugi, believing it will make him the greatest duelist. However, as we are about to find out, it takes more than imitation to be the very best. So, for today, we're going to be taking a look at Jaden and Dimitri's duel to see if fake Yugi dueled as well as the King of Games. Or perhaps he made some serious misplays that cost him the duel in the end. So without further ado, let's jump into the duel. The duel begins and Jaden goes first. He draws, and his opening hand consists of Elemental Hero Bastinatrix, Elemental Hero Clayman, Elemental Hero Sparkman, Elemental Hero Blade Edge, Routweiler, and Bubble Shuffle. Quite the bricky hand for Jaden, let's be honest, and he's going to confirm it with the play he's about to do. Jaden summons his Elemental Hero Bastinatrix into defense and ends his turn. Now, you might be asking, with Elemental Hero Clayman in your hand with 2,000 defense, why wouldn't you summon that bad boy into defense? Well, there is actually a reason. Jaden is planning on drawing polymerization at some point in the duel. With the cards in his hand, there are only two fusions he is capable of making. These two fusions are Rampart Blaster and Thunder Giant. Plasma Vice is something he can make, but he doesn't have it yet at this point in the series. Both these monsters require Clayman, however, one is offensive while one is defensive. So I think the offensive choice was the right choice. So I think good play, Jaden, good forward thinking. It's Dimitri's turn and he draws. His opening hand consists of Dark Magician, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, Berthamet, Polymerization, Monster Reincarnation, and Swords of Revealing Light. Dimitri immediately activates Polymerization, fusing Gazelle and Berthamet together to fusion summon his Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beasts. He then immediately enters his battle phase and attacks and destroys Bastinatrix. Dimitri ends his turn here. While this is a fine play, I think there was something better he could have done this turn. Now, I know there's no threats on the field, but you never know what your opponent is going to bust out on the next turn. So I think playing Swords of Revealing Light right now would have stopped any counterattacks Jaden might have made. Secondly, with Monster Reincarnation in his hand, he could have used it this turn, sent his Dark Magician to the graveyard, add back the Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, in his graveyard, normal summon that alongside his Chimera, attack over Bastinatrix with Gazelle, and then attack directly with Chimera, dealing 2100 damage on his first turn. This would have put him really far in the lead in terms of life points, would have had more monster resources on the field, and also would have stopped Jaden from making any counterattacks. So... This could have snowballed into a victory. He didn't do this, so I am going to say it is a misplay, Dimitri. I'm sorry. It's Jaden's turn, and he draws Polymerization. He activates it straight away to fuse his Sparkman and Clayman together to make Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. Now, when Thunder Giant is summoned to the field, it immediately destroys one monster whose attack is less than its own. Jaden destroys Chimera. However, due to Chimera's effect, when it is destroyed, it special summons one of its materials to the field. And so, Dimitri summons back his Berthamet into defense. Jaden now moves into his battle phase and attacks and destroys Berthamet. Jaden ends his turn. It's Dimitri's turn, and he draws Dark Renewal. He sets Dark Renewal face down straight away and then activates Monster Reincarnation. Now, by sending one card in his hand to the grave, he can add one monster in his grave back to his hand. He sends Dark Magician and adds back his Gazelle. Note, Dimitri does the classic anime, you don't show what you send, you just sort of just throw it in the graveyard like this. A little bit sneaky, I must admit, but what's funny about this play is the real Yugi Moto will do this exact same thing to Jaden at the end of the series. The only difference between the two is that Dimitri is sending Dark Magician, whereas Yugi sends Slifer the Sky Dragon. And if you're wondering, by the way, if this play is legal in the anime, well, actually, it kind of is. If you watched my last video on whether characters read in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, we discovered that 
Public knowledge in the Yu-Gi-Oh anime, it doesn't exist. Or at least it doesn't exist in the same way it does in the real world. So players don't have to announce a lot of things cards can do. Public knowledge just isn't there. So what Dimitri's done here, it's fine. Following this play, Dimitri summons Gazelle to the field. He summons it into defense. He then activates the continuous spell, Swords of Revealing Light. This prevents Jaden from attacking for three whole turns. Dimitri ends his turn. It's Jaden's turn, and he draws Dark Catapulter. He summons it to the field into defense. Due to Dark Catapulter's effect, during Jaden's next standby phase, he can put a counter on this card. He can then remove it to destroy a spell or trap on the field. The plan obviously being to remove Swords Revealing Light. However, it's not going to work. Dimitri responds to the summon by activating his set trap, Dark Renewal. This card tributes a monster the opponent has just summoned and a monster he controls. By doing so, he can summon a Dark Magician from his deck or graveyard. Dimitri summons back the Dark Magician he sent to the grave. Jaden switches his Thunder Giant into defense and ends his turn. It's Dimitri's turn, and he draws Thousand Knives. Since he controls a Dark Magician, he can activate Thousand Knives straight away. By doing so, he can destroy one monster on the field. He destroys Thunder Giant. With no monsters left, Jaden is wide open for a direct attack. And so, Jaden takes the first damage of the duel. Dimitri ends his turn. It's back to Jaden, and he draws Super Junior Confrontation. Jaden summons his Routweiler into defense, and simply ends his turn here. It's Dimitri's turn, and he draws Multiply. Dimitri moves straight into his battle phase and attacks Routweiler with Dark Magician. It is destroyed. However, as it was destroyed, its effect kicks in. This allows Jaden to add one Elemental Hero and one Polymerization in his grave back to his hand. He adds back Polymerization and Bastinatrix. Dimitri ends his turn. It's Jaden's turn and he draws a Hero Emerges. Realizing the only monster he can get out that has more attack than Dark Magician is his Blade Edge that he just so happens to have in his hand. Not only that, but he's also just drawn the perfect card to get it out. A Hero Emerges. All Jaden needs to do to guarantee the summon of his Blade Edge and keep himself in the duel is to set every card he has face down and then just end his turn. And so, naturally, Jaden summons his Bastinatrix into defense, sets a hero emerges face down, and then, oh my god, no, he just ended his turn. So if you don't know, a hero emerges is a card that, when he is attacked, he can force the opponent to pick a random card in his hand. If it's a monster, it is immediately summoned to the field, and the battle phase ends. However, you can manipulate the odds of this card by just getting rid of all of the cards in your hand, except for a monster. So if Jaden would have just set the free spells and traps he has in his hand face down, Next turn, he would have gone from a 25% chance of having this card picked to a 100% chance. So why didn't Jaden just do this? I have absolutely no idea. A little bit later, it's going to make more sense that he should have set this card face down as there's going to be a little bit of a out of duel shenanigans kind of thing. We'll talk about it when we get to it. But he should have just set it. I would have been fine with it, but I guess the gamble was epic. I guess he just trusted in the heart of the cards. It's it's fine. As Jaden's turn ends, the effects of Swords of Revealing Light also ends. It's Dimitri's turn, and he draws Dedication through Light and Darkness. He enters his battle phase and attacks Bastinatrix with Dark Magician. However, Jaden activates a Hero Emerges, which forces Dimitri to select a card in his hand. And if it's a monster, it is summoned straight to the field. Amazingly, with all of the cards in Jaden's hand, Dimitri chooses the one and only monster, Blade Edge. And so it is summoned to the field. Since its attack is greater than Dark Magician's, a replay occurs and Dimitri calls off the attack. And here, Dimitri does something the King of Games would never do. He insults the Dark Magician. <laughs> Well, never is a strong word, actually. Yugi did do that that one time. Since he's useless, I'll sacrifice my dark magician. Anyway, Dimitri plays Dedication through Light and Darkness. Now, by tributing one dark magician, he can special summon a dark magician of chaos from his deck. When it is summoned to the field, Dimitri can add one spell card in his graveyard back to his hand. 
His only good options are Swords of Revealing Light or Monster Reincarnation. Personally, I would have gone for Swords of Revealing Light to yet again prevent any comebacks by Jaden, at least for the next three turns. However, Dimitri picks Monster Reincarnation. It's, it's fine. It's not a misplay. However, with the power of hindsight, Swords of Revealing Light was the right choice. Still in the battle phase, Dimitri uses Dark Magician of Chaos to attack and destroy Elemental Hero Blade Edge. It is destroyed, however, due to Magician of Chaos's second effect, whenever it destroys a monster in battle, it also banishes it from the game. And so, with Blade Edge removed from the game, Dimitri ends his turn. This turn might have seemed bad for Jaden as he wanted to make a counter attack this turn. However, he's actually done quite well, as if he hadn't done this play, well, he would have lost this turn with a direct attack from Dark Magician of Chaos. So, well done. It's Jaden's turn and he draws Winged Karibo, a card that was given to him in the first episode by none other than Yugi himself. He summons it to the field into defense, and then sets Super Junior Confrontation face down and ends his turn. It's back to Dimitri, and he too draws his own Karibo. Dimitri mirrors Jaden's play by summoning his own Karibo to the field. However, he summons his into attack, as it will be able to attack over Wing Karibo. Dimitri enters his battle phase and attacks first with Dark Magician of Chaos targeting Bastinatrix. However, Jaden plays Super Junior Confrontation. This card negates the attack and forces the weakest attack position monster Dimitri controls to battle with the weakest defense position monster Jaden controls. After which, the battle phase ends immediately. And so, Karibo is forced to attack Wing Karibo. Wing Karibo is destroyed and the battle phase ends. Thanks to this play, Jaden was able to keep his Bastinatrix on the field. Dimitri sets his Multiply spell face down and ends his turn. It's Jaden's turn and he draws Pot of Greed. He activates it to draw two new cards. He gets Elemental Hero Bubble Man and the field spell Skyscraper. Jaden immediately summons Bubble Man and then activates Skyscraper. Now, when an Elemental Hero monster battles with a monster whose attack is higher, that hero monster will gain an additional 1,000 attack for that battle. Following this, Jaden activates his equip spell, Bubble Blaster, equipping it to Bubble Man. This increases its attack by 800 and makes it immune to destruction once. Now, Bubble Man attacks Karibo. However, Dimitri activates his face down, Multiply. By tributing Karibo, he can summon out as many Karibo tokens as possible to his field. Since there are four open zones, he summons four Karibo tokens into defense. A replay occurs and Jaden uses Bubble Man to attack one of the Karibo tokens. Jaden enters his main phase two and strangely ends his turn by setting Polymerization face down. Why is this a strange thing you might be asking? People set bluffs all the time. Well, Jaden isn't known to set bluffs very often and I just thought it was odd for him to set a very powerful card that he needs face down. So why did he do this? Well, the reason he set this card face down is because on Dimitri's next turn, he's gonna activate Card of Sanctity, which will let both players draw until they have six cards. Now that Jaden has one less card in his hand, he will draw an extra card. So unfortunately, this is some very obvious behind the scenes manipulation of plays. And the only reason this bothers me is because you could have done this so much better and it would have looked so much more natural. Jaden had an opportunity to set the polymerization face down on his last turn for the hero lives play. And it would have made sense. It would have made sense of his character, the play, everything. It would have made sense why he has no cards in his hand for this turn. So that just annoyed me a little bit. So shenanigans to the coordinators of this episode. I saw what you did right here. Bad. <laughs> anyway, it's Dimitri's turn and whoa, he draws card of sanctity. He activates it to let both players draw until they are holding six cards. Dimitri draws five new cards. Why he didn't set his monster reincarnation face down before he played it, I will never know. But as such, his hand now contains monster reincarnation, water pawn, dark magician girl, and three mysterious cards. Two of which are spells or traps that will be sent to the graveyard via emergency provisions later in the duel. So we'll never see them. Let's just say they are, I don't know, D spell and mystical moon, maybe. 
And the final mystery card is something that's going to be discarded for Monster Reincarnation. We don't know what it is, so let's just say it's Beaver Warrior. Why not? If you wondered, by the way, what Dimitri would have drew if he had set his Monster Reincarnation face down, he would have got Spider Web, which isn't a huge thing. It wouldn't have helped him out too much. However, what would have helped him out is he would have drew his Blackluster Soldier Emblem at the beginning a turn earlier, which might have spelled defeat for Jaden. So it's a misplay Dimitri. Regardless, Jaden draws six new cards. His hand now consists of Elemental Hero Avion, the Warrior Returning Alive, Emergency Provisions, Hero Spirit, Double Spell, and a Mysterious Card. This Mysterious Card is a spell or trap that he will send to the graveyard for Emergency Provisions. Let's just say it's Cyclone Boomerang. Now, since Waterpon was added to Dimitri's hand via a card effect, it special summons itself straight to the field. Dimitri then tributes it to summon his Dark Magician Girl whose attack is increased to 2300 since there is a Dark Magician in his grave. Dimitri enters his battle phase and uses Dark Magician of Chaos to attack Bubble Man. Due to Bubble Blaster, it is destroyed instead and the battle damage he would have taken is reduced to zero. Dimitri follows this up by attacking Bubble Man again, this time with Dark Magician Girl. The effect of Skyscraper activates, increasing Bubble Man's attack. However, it's not enough and so it is destroyed. Dimitri ends his turn. It's Jaden's turn and he draws another mysterious card. This time, a spell card. It's going to be sent to the graveyard later for the effect of double spell. I'll let you guys pick this one. What is the useless spell card that Jaden has just drew that he's going to discard later? Let me know in the comments. Jaden starts by activating his set Polymerization using Bastinatrix and Avion together to make Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Jaden then plays the Warrior Returning Alive, letting him add one Warrior Monster in his grave back to his hand. He adds back Elemental Hero Sparkman. He then summons it to the field. Flame Wingman attacks, targeting Dark Magician of Chaos. The effect of Skyscraper boosts Flame Wingman's attack up to 3100. Dark Magician of Chaos is destroyed. Dimitri takes damage for the first time in the duel. However, it isn't the last, as due to the effect of Flame Wingman, when it destroys a monster in battle, it also deals damage equal to that monster's attack. And so, Dimitri receives a further 2800 damage. Following this, Sparkman attacks and destroys another of the Karibo tokens. Why didn't Jaden attack over that Dark Magician Girl? He could have done a little bit of damage and got rid of Dark Magician Girl. Well, with Flame Wingman on the field, if he's able to attack with that next turn and attack over Dark Magician Girl, and that will be a guaranteed win, as that has attack points, whereas all the Kriba tokens, they don't have any. So that's why he did it. It's a fine play. And so Jaden moves to his main phase two. He sets two cards face down, Hero Spirits and Cyclone Boomerang. He activates Emergency Provisions, sending the Cyclone Boomerang to the graveyard in order to gain 1,000 life points. Jaden ends his turn. It's Dimitri's turn, and he draws Spider Web. Dimitri switches Dark Magician Girl to defense and then activates Spider's Web. This lets him add one spell used on the last turn by the opponent. He adds to his hand Emergency Provisions. Dimitri sets his D spell and Mystical Moon face down and then activates Monster Reincarnation by sending his Beaver Warrior to the graveyard. Finally, he chains Emergency Provisions, tributing his Monster Reincarnation and his two set spell and traps. Card effects now resolve in reverse. First, Emergency Provisions effect activates, gaining him 1,000 life points for each of those cards sent. Since there were three, he gains 3,000 life points. Monster Reincarnation then resolves, allowing Dimitri to add back a card to his hand. He adds Karibo. With no further plays, Dimitri ends his turn. It's Jaden's turn, and he draws Defusion. Jaden enters his battle phase and uses Flame Wingman to attack Dark Magician Girl. Since Wingman's attack was lower, it gains an additional 1000 attack thanks to Skyscraper. Dark Magician Girl is destroyed, and since it was, the effect of Flame Wingman then deals damage equal to its attack to Dimitri's life points. Jaden follows this play up by activating his quick play spell, Defusion. This returns Flame Wingman back into his extra deck and then replaces it with its materials, Avion and Bastinatrix. Jaden uses both of these to attack and destroy Dimitri's remaining two Karibo tokens. And finally, with no monsters left on the field, Jaden attempts to attack directly for game with Sparkman. However, this is where Dimitri discards Karibo to reduce the battle damage from that attack 
to zero. How could Jaden forget that Dimitri added Karibo back to his hand on the last turn? Well, to be fair, Jaden does admit he misplayed. He just kind of forgot. So unfortunately, Jaden can't go for the win here. So we're going to have to give Jaden a misplay, but I'm glad he admitted he just completely forgot. To be fair, it was worth it as Dimitri and Karibo have a funny moment here where Dimitri reminisces on all the battles they've had together throughout the course of his career. Karibo just thinks, what is this guy on about? And with that, Jaden ends his turn. It's Dimitri's turn and the penultimate turn of the duel. He draws and gets Black Luster Soldier. Envoy of the beginning. Dimitri banishes one light and one dark monster from his grave in order to special summon Battlestar Soldier Envoy of the beginning, which shall henceforth be known by its shorthand name, BLS. Dimitri enters his battle phase and uses BLS to attack Avion. However, even despite Skyscraper being on the field, it is still destroyed. Jaden takes some critical damage here. But that's not all. Dimitri reveals one of BLS's effects. When it destroys a monster in battle, it can attack again for a second time. And so it attacks again. However, this is where Jaden activates his set, Hero Spirit. Thanks to this card's effect, when an elemental hero monster is destroyed in battle this turn, by activating this card, you can negate the next attack. And so, Dimitri ends his turn here. It's worth noting that BLS has one more effect, if you didn't know. Uh, it has the ability to banish one face-up card on the opponent's side of the field. It's a great ability. However, by doing that ability, he's not allowed to attack that turn. So, doing the double attack makes the most sense on paper and is the technically the best move to make. However, in hindsight, knowing what the next play is going to be, if he wanted to win, he would have needed to have banished one of the fusion materials on Jaden's field. Had he have done that, Jaden wouldn't have been able to fuse, and he might have been able to win. No way he could have known this though, so it's not a misplay, but just fun to know, right? It's Jaden's turn, and the final turn of the duel. He draws and gets Silent Doom. He activates it to special summon Avion back from his grave. He then activates Double Spell, which lets him discard a spell card in his hand, in order to activate a spell in Dimitri's grave. Jin discards the mysterious spell card in his hand and chooses to activate Polymerization, the spell card Dimitri used on his first turn. With this play, Jaden re-summons Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. With the help of Skyscraper, Jaden attacks and destroys Dimitri's BLS. 100 battle damage is inflicted, however it is then followed by 3000 effect damage. Jaden wins the duel. While there are some little changes Dimitri could have made throughout this duel, which would have helped him out tremendously by activating Swords Revealing Light straight away, re-adding back Swords Revealing Light later in the duel, banishing certain monsters, setting an extra card face down, all these little things add up to quite a lot of misplays from him. However, if I'm being honest, I think both players played the best possible duel they could with the cards that they had. With a bit of hindsight, obviously things might have been different, but I think it was fine. I think the moral to take away from this duel is what Jaden says. The reason Dimitri lost was because he didn't make his deck, and so he couldn't truly believe in his deck at the key moments. Someone who built their own deck could see all of the intricate plays that they have available to them, and so they believe in their deck and know what can lead them to victory. Since Dimitri just takes other people's decks, it's just not the same, unfortunately. With that, that's another episode done. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But other than that, thank you for watching. Catch you later.